Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we will make a parametric pattern based wedding shed design in Revit. Let's start. Open the Revit. Open a new family. Select metric generic model pattern base. Open. Select the grid. Change the horizontal spacing to 4,000 mm and the vertical spacing to 2,000 mm. Okay. Next, select reference point. Select draw on face. Set work plane. Set this plane. Pick reference point. Set work plane. Set this plane. Pick reference point. Set work plane. Set this plane. Pick reference point. Set work plane. Set this plane. Pick reference point. Cancel the command. Select all. Go to filter. Check none. Select reference point. Okay. Go to offset. Pick the button, create new parameter, name it height. OK, OK. Go to family types, change the height value to 2600 millimeter. OK. Next, select these two reference points. Spline through points, check reference line. Select these two reference points, spline through points, check reference line. Select reference point, pick at reference line, okay, pick here, then select the reference point, go to normalize curve parameter. Pick the button, create new parameter, name it NCP or normalized curve parameter offset. Okay. Okay. Select the next reference point, go to normalized curve parameter, pick the button, and select NCP offset. Okay. Go to family types, change NCP offset to 0.8. Okay. Next, select these two reference points, spline through points, check reference line. Select these two reference points, spline through points, check reference line. Okay. Select these two reference points. Spline through points, check reference line. Select these two reference points. Spline through points, check reference line. Okay, next, select this four reference line. Create a form and select the surface. Okay, next, select the surface, tab to select, okay, then divide surface, change the U grid number to 3, and the V grid number to 5, okay, if you want it a parametric, pick the button, create new parameter, let's name it U grid number. Or U grid, okay. Okay, for the B grid, pick the button, new parameter, type B grid. Okay, okay. Now let's test the parameter. Let's try to change the height to 2500 millimeter. Okay. Let's change the NCP offset to 0 0.7. 
U grid or the V grid let's make it 4 okay U grid 2 okay let's go back to 3 5 and point 8 okay next let's load or open the space frame 1 okay okay this is a space frame pattern base let's uncheck the shared load into the project no okay select the divided surface go to properties and select the space frame okay component plate check go to edit type let's change the offset value to 300 millimeter okay okay then next let's open the adaptive four point spline okay this is the four point spline with four adaptive points okay load into the project pick first point here second point third point and four point okay pick first point second point third point and four point okay next let's open the adaptive one point sphere okay this is the adaptive one point sphere with one point adaptive point load into the project okay pick one here one here one here and one here okay select the spear let's change the diameter to 300 okay select this one tab to select then change the diameter to 300 select change to 300 okay one more select the spear set change it to 300 okay so we have the base now select reference point pick at midpoint of the spline pick okay pick also one here rotate the view okay then select the reference point pick at midpoint of the spline okay pick then select a circle set work plane okay tab tab to select the work plane okay set this plane then draw a circle let's make a radius of 80 millimeter okay then select the circle check reference line control select the spline then create a form okay rotate the view select a circle set work plane tab to select the plane okay set the plane draw a circle now let's make a radius of 100 select the circle check reference line okay control select the spline then select create a form 
okay next go to wireframe so now let's open the adaptive 2.5 okay this is the adaptive 2.5 with two adaptive points load into the project okay let's pick here one point second point pick here okay okay pick one here first point second point pick here okay cancel rotate the view okay go to families insert again the adaptive 2.5 okay let's pick one here first point okay second point okay next first point then second point okay select realistic okay let's check okay next let's test the parameter go to family types let's change the ncp offset to 0.9 okay then let's try to change the height to 2600 okay now let's check the 3d okay let's save the family let's save it to the desktop and name it pattern base Uh, waiting shed save okay now let's open our project template okay go to level 1 go to massing and site turn on show mass select in place mass Mass 1, okay. Let's draw a rectangle. Okay. Let's draw a 4 by 2 rectangle. Same with the grid in our pattern based family. Okay. Select the line. Make it 4 meters. This line, change the dimension to 2 meters. Okay. Let's center the rectangle. Okay. Next, check reference line. Create a form. Select the surface. Tab to select. Select the surface. Divide surface. Change the U grid and B grid number to one. Okay back to 3d load into the project okay let's go to 3d okay select the divided surface go to pattern and select the pattern base waiting shed okay all grid rotation change it to 90 degrees okay let's check the perspective finish the mass okay rotate the view okay done thank you